Welcome back to Warzone Morlock 40k. Today it's Sisters of Battle versus the Void Stalkers, aka the Dark Angels, in another grueling Warhammer 40,000 10th edition 2000 point battle report. Check it out. A special treat for you today in the Warzone. Poshnik is bringing his Sisters of Battle to debut in 10th edition Warhammer 40,000. Nick. Oh, yes. The Sisters are coming in for their first attempt. I haven't even tried them in 10th edition yet, so. This is going to be a massive test of both my knowledge and probably all the things. This is Posh Nick. This is Phil Morlock. This is Warzone Morlock 40k. Bring the fire! Fire! Ah! Damn it. Who's Judith Eremita? Flaming Judy at the Flaming front Judy. there. Saint Celestine backing her up with two of her Gemini at the back there. If she's come along, you know it's a righteous cause. There's a Palatine down the front who's going to be leading one of the squad. That is a, a, a she's a Palatine today. And finally, we've got a Hospitaller at the back there who's going to be joining a Retributor squad. Because I just love that model. Battle line on the far left, we've got one single Battle Sisters squad at the front there, and then a, a dedicated transport behind it of a Rhino and a, uh, of course, an Exus tank. They're next to each other. We'll look at them at the same time. They're gorgeous. Uh, we've got uh, two units of Arco Flagellants in the back there. One and two, both little three-man squads. We have two Dominion squads, one uh, at the front end of the Arco Flagellants. That's with four Storm Bolters, a special Storm Bolters with the Sororitas, and one unit with Melter Guns off to the far right back here, being led by the Palatine. So a little bit of armor penetration. Mm -hmm. uh, two mortifiers over there, both with their penitent flails and heavy bolters, because that's how I've modelled them in the first place. We've got a repentia squad, the angriest ladies in 40k down the front here, with the littlest armour. And one squad of retributors beyond that, we've got uh, right at the back there, with two heavy bolters and two multi melters once again, because that's what I've got modelled so far, although I don't know how well it works in the new set. And finally, for a little bit of help, because I don't have enough points, we've got a knight paladin. We've got the Throne Shield and at the very top, a Vindicare Assassin. Enhancement to the Palatine, a special blade that's 1995 points over the Depth of Sororitas. Very similar to last week, a few changes led by Azrael with a squad of Hellblasters and an Apothecary. Uh, we have a Tech Marine as the other uh, character choice. We've got the ever faithful, ever sturdy uh, Deathwing Command Squad who have always done a lot of work for me. On the left hand side we have an Outriders squad, but this time I've gone with the ATV. We have a Gladiator Lancer, again replacing the Executioner from last time. Two Redemptors with Fists and Flamers and Onslaught Gatling Cannons. And one Ballistus with the uh, Ballistus Last Cannon and Rockets. The enhancement I have is the Tech Marine who has the Heavenfall Blade buffing up his Omnissiah Axe. Today's mission is Purge the Foe, played on a hammer and anvil deployment. From turn 2 you score 4 VP, if you control one objective you score 4 VP, if you control more objectives than your opponent. Also if you kill a unit you get 4 VP, and if you uh, kill more units than your opponent you also get 4 VP per turn. A little bit of spice, if you control your home objective, for on a 4 plus on a dice you get a CP back. Centre objective is on the building here. Oh, who's that in the crow's nest, Nick? Oh, the guy who's going to do your uh, do blocking of you anyone trying to deep strike in. You scumbag. There's an objective over there behind the forest over there. There's one here. There's a home objective over there by that bush. And there's another one by that bush, that thick bush. Now, on my side, we have the Outrider squad. We have the Hell Blasters with Azrael and Apothecary. Excuse that, I've been painting. I have a Gladiator Lancer in the middle because I didn't know where his targets were going to be. <laughs> Ballistus Dreadnought is holding at the back objective along with two Redemptors with the Tech Marine ready to do some blending to match what Nick has done on this side. So he's got 
These have actually made their pre-game move already. They have indeed they? two Dominion squads, one with Melters, one with the Artificer Storm Bolters, both have done their pre-game move. Not happy you've put your massive dreadnoughts with rotary cannons. Oh, those guys. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Got a Rhino full of Repentia down the side here, along with the Retributor squad, and the uh, Hospitaller is backing up the Dominion squad. She's leading them. Mm -hmm. uh, the one set of Argo Flaglants and the uh, Exorcist. And that tank sitting there on the home objective. <laughs> and over here you've got a combination of Flaming Judy. Flaming Judy! The Battle, unit, battle Line unit, uh, the Battle Sisters, and the two Mortifiers. I've got in reserve the Knights because it's hilarious when things come on in reserve like that. It's hilarious. That's not so That's not so funny. Uh, and meanwhile, Celestine, her Gemini, and the squad of... They're not Zephyrim, they're the other ones. Seraphim! The Seraphim are Seraphim. coming down. They're coming into reserve. They're coming down from Deep Strike. That's so uh, all our setup. So let's just roll off to see who goes first. It's a strong six from Nick. It's an equally Ooh. poor four from me, so it's going to be Sisters turn one. Nick, which cards did you draw so for I your secondaries? I have drawn a Deploy Teleport Homer, which is very important for getting to the centre of the ball, which, fun enough, my Dominions, with their scout move and their next advance roll, have now got themselves nice and close to. Excellent. And Overwhelming Force, which means I'm trying to clear you off one of your objectives, or any objective on the yeah. board, so only thing I can aim for at the moment, potentially, is your five-man intercessor squad. So, so far, we've got, on the far flank closest to yourself, we've got the Mortifiers, uh, Flame and Judy, and the Battle Sisters have all pushed up. Their advance rolls have been appalling but they've just genuinely moved up that flank towards that left-hand side objective. The uh, Archiflaglants have pushed back a little bit because I'm trying to make sure I'm making a bit of a screen at the back oh, here. The last guys, sorry, I want yeah. The yeah. I don't want because I don't want your Terminator appearing in my backfield. Nice. The Exorcist, that is the name of it, is sitting on the home objective, and the other Flaglants have come over this side to try and do the same screening thing here now that the uh, Dominion sisters have run forward. And as I'm, pointing, as I'm talking about that at the moment, here are the sisters. The Dominions have moved forward into the woods. Very much aware that your dreadnoughts are here sitting on top of, well, nothing, but they're going to chew me up with their guns yeah. in a second also, anyway. Also, this building managed to teleport in from Deep Strike because we forgot to put it back. Must from the power filming, of faith. Filming the intro, yeah. Who's was. faith? My faith. <laughs> okay. Our faith. So I'm going to do some Overwatch with one of those dreadnoughts of against that squad are. that's in the bush because we love <laughs> thick Le The bush. sister's bush. We love to shoot they're the fire. The sister's bush. Keep saying it. Bush. <laughs> And I'm going to do, for one CP, Overwatch with the Dreadnought over there, targeting the unit in the bush next to the next groin. The Holy Bush. Fishing for sixes with the with the uh, Heavy Onslaught Gatling Cannon. Oh, no! no! Not, Not one! Not a single one! Okay, so <laughs> that's the Heavy Flamer Torrent, so it's automatically hitting with two only bits. two shots. Uh, three plus to wound, I believe, because they're all toughness three. Now, because they've got a Hospitalier, or whatever she's called. Well, they've got their normal armor save, which is a three plus save. Okay, so the heavy flamer is minus one. It is, okay, so four plus save. Of course, we forgot that flamers ignore cover because it makes sense, doesn't it? Luckily, of course it does. Uh, we remembered. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we, uh, one single sister, therefore, is dead. However, they've got the hospitaler, so they've got five plus feel no pain, which they don't get. Our first kill. Our first kill, but for anyone who plays sisters, that means the rest of the squad now gets plus one to hit. Oh, no, no, no. From, I've got my D6 frag launches, no nothing. Chances. The sisters will survive. A Colossal the waste of round. CP. <laughs> the Rhino Nick has fired its Storm Bolter. It has at the intercessors hiding behind the tree, cowardly. Uh, and uh, it's, no it's done absolutely nothing, funny enough. But the Hunter Killer missile is coming in hot now. It and is. Against them as well? Funny um, enough, no. The, against the Dreadnought. <laughs> right. Against the Dreadnought. It's going to be a 2 plus to hit for the Hunter Killer missile, apparently. It hits. Uh, it's strength 14. So it's going to be a 3 plus to wound. I'm guessing your toughness 10. Toughness 10. Dentors. Toughness 10. Now, this is where I could really have used a miracle dice, but I don't have any yet. It wounds. Oh, the lord. Minus 3 and d6 damage. So it it's is. It's minus six. 1 damage when it when it comes to it because it's a redemptor's rule. So whatever you roll, oh, very take nice. away okay. 1. So um, I need a save? You need a 6 plus armor save, please. Yeah, watch this. Here comes a hot 6. Unbelievable. <laughs> now you learn how to roll 6s. Now you learn. <laughs> <laughs> Can you Adam and Eve it? That's a waste of hunter killer missile. Well, that's what you get for me <laughs> wasting my CP on Overwatch. That's true. So some more shooting came in from this squad in the bush. In the bush. And they fired their Artificer. awesome artificial because they're hitting on twos. They got a load more shots in. And because lots of one lethal, was wounded. Is that yeah, right? Absolutely. Lots of lethal hits went through because a Palatine is leading them. But uh, sadly, I forgot the Redemptors had the special rule that meant they reduced your dam incoming damage by one. So what I thought was going to be. Four damage turned out to just be two damage. Yeah, so I have taken two damage from Bolt of Fire. Father Merrin's 
exorcist tank is going to fire <laughs> at Watnik. It's going to fire at the injured Dreadnought. Oh. To start with. Okay. That's that's, this is where we're starting. This is where it's beginning. Yeah, beginning that's so what you're going for. You're going for a little kill unit job, aren't you? It's, uh, it's the name of the game. Exactly. It is D6 plus two number of shots in the first place. That's not, that's not bad. Six not shots, bad. Six nice. Shots. Could be worse, could be worse. Now, it's indirect fire because I don't think I can see you. However, it is also a, it's also a heavy weapon and it stayed still. So it, it's minus one to hit for being indirect, but it's plus one for being heavy and staying so still. So it's back, normal back ballistic to its normal skills. ballistic skill, yep. So it's three pluses to hit. And once again, this is where I really could have used those miracle dice, but I'll, I'll gain them later. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, it's about average. Two misses. And it is uh, strength 10 against, I believe, your toughness 10 as well. I am toughness 10. Okay, so fours, fours to wound. Well. That's not done the job, has it, Nick? <laughs> you could that, argue that's a terrible roll. That is absolutely shocking, right. Oh, uh, that's the dreadnought we're going now. Chewed up next turn. Some of the comments from the previous video were why do we take certain units? What's their benefits over other things? I take the Redemptors for just this reason. Yeah. A two plus save. Uh, double hard in combat and shooting and have reduced damage so I think they're superb that's fantastic why do you take the exorcist is it to, to miss with everything that you fire <laughs> <laughs> it's, to watch, it's to watch the rockets just patter around yeah, you yeah, like a light like, summer rain yeah. <laughs> awesome oh, that was great some pretty tasty fires come from this squad down here this lot here the mortifiers actually. these guys here girls sorry and they've been firing everything at the Hell Blasters. Now we've got to the point where we've rolled all the dice and this many have gone through. I will say actually, there is one further heavy bolter in the unit there which is next to them, so I'll just fire that as well. Yeah, go on, get that in. Threes to hit. And it's two hits. And with uh, strength five, so it's threes to wound. One wound goes through, so there's one more to add to it. And what am I looking for here? You are looking for four plus... Uh, to be fair, your part lip's good because of the cover, so actually you'll get a cover save because there is a, it is a minus one, so therefore you do get the cover save with your power armor. So those will be three plus saves. Three Each pluses. is a dead marine. Oh la la. Only two go uh, through. Oh, so oh no, three. Sorry, three, one, two, three dead marines. Three are dead. And this is on the hell blasters, isn't That's it? That's on the hell blasters. So on a three plus, they get to fight on death. All of them! We're going to overcharge. Are they allowed back. to shoot back only at the unit they f that attacked them, though? Because if so, on, I've on, deliberately made sure I'm out of range of you. On death, I think you can shoot at anything. Okay, we'll check. No, that's fine. That's fine. If that's the case, then you can hurt me. Yeah. So we've had a little measure up, and these people over here are not in range to be shot with the return of fire, but the ladies in the bush are. Oh. And so we're going to be shooting the ladies in the bush. What with is it you, with you and my faithful bush? So we fire back with uh, all the shots. I've managed to do three of them, but have you got armor saves? Uh, yeah, I will do. Uh, sorry, how many? Three shots went through? Yeah, three shots went through. And what is the minus? It is minus three. Minus three. However, I am in cover. So I reduced it to minus two. So it'd be five plus first of all. Five plus armor save. Two of them save. Oh. And the last one, uh, which goes through, it is, he, she has got feel no pain. Now, is it two damage for this? It is two damage. So it's going to be two five pluses she needs from the hospitaler. Somehow I'm not feeling too confident. No. Uh, so we take one sister That's out another sister fighting on death. But, so one goes from there, out of the bush. Uh, and three hell blasters die. Nice. Or they return. Something very interesting is coming up now. Vindicare. Now you have a plethora of targets to shoot. You have the Tech Marine, you have the Apothecary, and you have Azrael. Well, let me tell you, Gary the Vindicare. Yeah, it should be Vinny. Vinny. Yeah, it works better, doesn't it? Yeah, his mum had a strange choice of names. Vinny the Vindicare. Vincent! Gonna, he's got to do got he's got to and one shot per game is a shield break around, and it has got oh. to be against Azrael. It has to. I want that apothecary gone, but I have to shoot Azrael out of principle. Out of principle, yeah. Right, come on, it's got to be done. Dave couldn't get it done last week. Can you get it done? Unlikely. Not the way I've been rolling so far this game, but I believe it's a two plus two. I hit. believe in you. I believe. <laughs> and the dead shot, it's a critical hit is scored. Now, I need to. If I got a six with this. It'd be even better, but uh, just so a six is a headshot yeah. and causes extra damage. But a one would be a real would be a shame. But let's God, see how I we hope go. it's a one so badly, <sighs> so badly. I want this to be a one. <laughs> Shut up, Bill. What? It's a one. Is it? It's a one. <laughs> it's under your tank. And it's a solid one. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't believe it. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh man. My rolling so far this game you, you has left, suck so has left a little. <laughs> Why do I come over here and get your luck, Bill? <laughs> you sucked so hard. In the hilarity of this moment, 
I have forgotten I've got a command reroll. And unlike our last game, it doesn't cost two CP, it costs just the one this time. I'm using. I suggest a strongly you, 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 you treat yourself. I think today. You could have used a miracle dice and made it a one. <laughs> yeah, that would have been well worth it, wouldn't it? I know assassins can't use them, but you know, yeah. carry on. We, we know that. So we're going to reroll the hit. Here it comes so, another one. It was one. so funny, it was worth it, but I've Here got, comes another no. one. Oh no, it's, it's the, the headshot. critical hit! It's it, the headshot! It's headshot. Now we're talking. This is much more interesting. Now I still got to win. Oh no, I'm in right. trouble. So, uh, Exodus rifle. It's devastating wounds. Ignores cover, heavy, and precision. So precision, obviously, I can target you. Yeah. Units, and heavy ignores. Don't have the cover save and devastating wounds. Now, so it is a strength seven weapon. It used to be like even better against infantry. Sadly, it's not that anymore. But it is extremely so good. It's a three so, to wound. A three to wound, and I've already used my reroll. Oh lord. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Bill's dying. No. It was worth it. Oh no! Wow. So Azrael lives, and the Vindicator has to go back to school. Vinny the Vindicator is he going back to Assassin School. Hit a or wound a barn door. <laughs> Tragedy in the war zone. It's the end of your turn, Nick, so what have you scored? So, so far I've deployed the Teleport Homer by with my Dominion squad onto the uh, centre of the battlefield. She's deployed her Homer, so to speak. Yeah. And uh, the other points for the actual mission rules, we can score in the first turn for our home objectives, but it's at the end of the battle round, so yeah. we'll do that in your turn in a minute. Indeed, so, so straight into Space Marines, turn one. Let it the unit that I'm going to nominate for Oath of the Moment is going to be the, the mortifiers. mortifiers just over here. They're, they're, they're a unit, aren't they? Or they're just they separate? are, they're a unit. Okay, it's got to be them this turn because nothing else is really on offer. Turn one for the Space Marines. These are the cards that I've drawn. Storm a hostile objective. Um, if I clear it off, I will score five victory points. And Nick has chosen that one over there. Is that right? I have. I've chosen yeah. this one over here. We considered the middle one because it would be tricky for me to get to. Um, but maybe next turn I've got Terminators coming in. So he's tried to draw me to one side or the other side. So we've gone with that side. The other one I've got is attempting target. So I score five victory points if I uh, secure an objective in no man's land, which I think is quite an easy one for me actually, because I've got my bikes. So this is in no man's land. This is why I brought them. Another uh, answer to the question why we bring certain units to certain games. This unit is very fast because the bikes can auto advance six inches. And I've added the uh, buggy in because of the uh, eight wounds it has and more OC. So it's pretty tasty. Now Nick's obviously measuring up some I'm seeing if old flaming Judy Overwatch might ability. have to be in range for the old um, throw at her Overwatch. I think her flamers are dot on 12 inch marks. So well guess it, what? Yeah. <laughs> My movement phase isn't over yet so I'm just going to dress, <laughs> I'll dress back a little touch to still oh, be funny, within, it? Yeah. within three inches of the objective. Probably a solid shout avoid, on your part uh, if I'm avoid My face melted. <laughs> I'm not so, saying it's a bad idea. No, so that's where I'm going to... Uh, you now join us at the end of the movement phase. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the Vindicare all the, over again. To cover some more movement, um, I've, I'm aware that the Vindicare is up there. His headshot's not quite worked out, so I'm just pushing forward with my hell blasters to try and get some work done and also a little bit of board control in the middle. The Lancer. Now, another reason why I've chosen the Lancer over the Plasma execu uh, Sorry, the... Um, Repulsor Executioner. Repulsor Executioner is because it's 100 points cheaper. Ish, I don't know what it is exactly, and I didn't fire any of the, all, all the Gubbins guns at range anyway, so this is just a mobile Lancer carriage which might be able to do some damage over here. Over on this side, the Dreadnoughts have pushed forward to take on the Bush ladies, along <laughs> with their Tech Marine. Be known. Oh, I have to roll for the Tech Marine's ability to bring back D3 wounds to the Dreadnought. Stand by. I'm just rolling to see how many wounds come back on that wounded Dreadnought from the Tech Marine. D3. One for back. one more wound, so I'm up to 10 wounds with that, and his shooting, or his attacks, will be improved by one, just for, until they start my next command phase. That's another reason to bring a Tech Marine, because they keep your Dreadnoughts in the game. Nice. Deep striking, Nick. At and the end of the, my movement phase, you're putting in... I love a rapid ingress anywhere near Bill. <laughs> Huge fan <laughs> and of And I'm that. a willing recipient. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are, deep in the bush. Yeah. My rapid ingress has happened here. Nine, more than nine inches away from uh, your fine looking dreadnoughts over here because I need to hold that objective more so the knight has come in. Throne shield is here. Awesome. Uh, I know, I know. I also forgot with the mission specific rule, I might get a CP back on a four plus. No, I do not. <laughs> Overwatch time, one CP spent for Nick, so he's gonna be firing at the uh, Outrider squad. Indeed. 
So fishing for sixes, Nick. Fishing for those sixes. Is it worth it? Let's find out. Two hits. Nice. Not um, much. I could have uh, brought in one of the Miracle Dice beforehand if I thought about it, but I did not. And in fact, you I'm can do out. it now, mate. No, thank you very much. I don't have a six. I've got a five, so that wouldn't be. Oh, a... I wouldn't count for toughy. Wouldn't you have been any good at them, all. You could add them together. Uh, strength five against toughness five. Toughness five, yeah. So fours to wound. No, the wounds. You it, was about, it was about as effective as my Overwatch. So <laughs> swings and roundabouts with that. Onto some shooting for the Space Marines. A load of shots have come in from the bikes. A hail of fire has gone into the sisters over here from all of the bolt weaponry on the bikes, and the multi melter declared a split fire and shot at the mortifier, mortifier here. Uh, one went through, but it got saved on the invulnerable save of a six plus, yes, Nick, indeed. so you can roll sixes. It's a miracle. Although one sister did die as a result. Does that make them extra good as a result? That makes them all plus one to hit now for the rest of the game. Good. I was glad I did that. <laughs> glad I could help you out there. What's next? Let's, let's pick another target. There we go. We're back on track. I'm going to be shooting the Lancer laser destroyer at the uh, mortifiers. Yes, indeed. So I've got two shots. Hitting on threes, but re-rolling with oath. We didn't need it. Oh, we did need it, because there's a two. <laughs> That's another two. That's a shame. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have another crack at it with the Aquilon Optics to try and hit. Hooray! <laughs> so two have gone through. To wound, it is Laser Destroyer Strength 14. Which well, that's not very good, which will mean it'll be... significant. Yeah, because it's toughness six, so it'll be twos to wound. And that's against both models now, potentially. Yeah, so that's... Uh, two have gone through. Very nice. They have got... Uh, what's the armor penetration, please? So the AP is minus four. Okay. Uh... But that doesn't make a difference. One of them's got a 3+, plus, one of them's got a 4+, plus. it's not going to make a solid difference. So I'll start with the 4+, plus one. Okay. that's a sacrificial lamb. But they've both got 6+, plus invulnerable saves, so I'll do two 6+, plus invulnerable saves. One oh, save. Oh, well done. That is extremely good. So, uh, what's the damage, please? The damage will be D6+, plus 3. Uh, they have got 5 wounds apiece, so if you roll... Uh, unless you roll a 1... That's one dead mortifier. Just blow so one up. The Which closest one? one, please, because that's the one that's not the anchorite. The okay. one with the sealed casket. Take them to Sisters of Battle Hell, please. <laughs> Next up to fire is going to be only four of the hell blasters are in uh, range of the remaining mortifier here. So I am going to play one CP strat for Unforgiven Fury, making any sixes lethal hits as well as. Uh, sustained hits one from Azrael. So That's here we go. Hell minus glasses. one to hit. I'm you're... overcharging because I'm a nutter. And you're here minus you one to hit because of Flaming Judy. Oh yeah, okay. So fours to hit. Oh, we look at all these sixes. No threes, so I didn't much get benefit from that, but still. So I can re-roll those because of Oath of Moment. Are you firing the, I think you're firing the this. Morph Fire? Sorry, then there was threes to hit. I do, but I thought you were firing at the Sisters unit. That's fine. Okay, there wasn't any threes. No, anyway. there were no threes. That's fine. So sustained hits and lethal hits, so three are going through. Very nice. These are to wound. Strength is... Uh, <laughs> eight. Against okay, toughness, six. Three's to wound. Reroll the two. For oath of moment, so they've all wounded. One, two, three, four, <laughs> four, six, seven, eight saves, please. Yeah. What, a minus what? <laughs> oh, minus rank. <laughs> minus three. Oh, this is well worth doing then. Here come the six plus saves. There's two damage a piece. Yep. Excellent. I think it's a dead mortifier. It is a dead mortifier. <laughs> does he thrash out or do anything, or does she do anything uh, do you stupid? Know what? I think they might have deadly demise actually, which is not great. Well, actually. hopefully she goes bolo. I mean, I remember Dave's tyranny last week. Started oh. e eating everything around him, <laughs> which is great. So, so deadly demise one. So on a six, they'll probably take one of the sisters with them. No. No. Fortunately, this time I didn't roll a six. Straight to hell. Straight Join to her hell. Sister. Good shooting. First dreadnought over here, the wounded one who has been reborn in uh, someone's name. I don't know. <laughs> He's going to be shooting the unit in the bush with his all his weapons. Nice. Onslaught Gatling Kelly hitting on twos because he was fixed by the Omni Sire. Oh, nice. There's always a couple of ones, Two but ones we're not going to moan. Ones. We're not going to moan. Uh, Strength six, so it's going to be twos to wound. Twos to wound against their little weak ladies. Oh, but there is another couple of ones in there. So that is three, six, seven saves required at uh, no AP. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where's the three plus? One, two, go through, and it's two five plus feel no pains for the spittler. That was a great save. That was a very good save. Only one actually goes down at that point. Outrageous. The heavy flamer in the fist is going to be firing, so it's torrent. You're going for a D6. Five shots, auto hitting. One, two, three, four, five. 
really gone. Was it twos or threes? Doesn't matter because we've got four <laughs> through there. Uh, so it's four saves at awesome. minus one AP. And I can't get any benefit from the cover, of course, because it's a heavy flamer, so. Can we ignore it? No, pause. Oh, two go through. Another two dead. Two five plus in, um, feel no pains, and one saves it again. Oh, that saves, that saves doing you uh, dividends. This is there. Spitler's doing surprisingly well. She's doing her best to inject people left, yeah, right, and centre. Yeah, she's running, running out of swabs, though. Inject so the grenade launchers have shot and fired and put this many wounds on three. Three save. All save. Wow. That has Spitler. It's yeah. doing her work. The power of the sisters. So we're going with the other Dreadnought now, which is just in front of Nick's uh, penis. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be rolling. <laughs> Did uh, we have to use that as a reference point? <laughs> it's scientifically correct. It's geographically accurate. Yeah, but uh, I'm, uh, and this one wasn't buffed by the on the side. <laughs> so we're hitting, like on, hitting on threes, unlike, unlike Nick's groin. <laughs> so that many have gone through. Two's to wound. Uh, five. five. Five more saves, please, on the sisters in the bush. Ah, I need that dice. Uh, three plus saves. Oh, that's more like it. Impressive. Uh, again, the flamer, torrent D6 for three. Uh, three to wound? Uh, yeah. Two wound. Two have gone through AP minus one. Uh, so four's armor save. Both fail. Five plus, feel no pain. Two fail. The Spitler just cannot inject yeah. ladies in the bush fast enough. Uh, oh. And then D6 shots of the uh, frag storm for th uh, six. Four, five, six. Hitting on threes. Terrible roll. Oh, only the one. Shameful amount of ones and twos. <laughs> wounds, though. No wounds. Three, uh, one three, save. Three plus save. It's a save. Nice. Okay, well, that's disappointing shooting from the Dreadnoughts, but their work is not yet done. So over here, the Tech Marine did fire his pistol at the ladies in the bush. I hope you're all keeping count of how many times we've said bush. <laughs> there will be a prize at the end. Um, the next thing that's going to fire is going to be the Ballistus Dreadnought, who has shifted into being in a position where you can ace the Rhino, hopefully. <sighs> Ballistus Dread coming in hot now, firing. It's two crack missiles at the Rhino behind the building here. Two plus. <laughs> it's a two and a two. I'm going to spend a CP. Yoink. Yoink. And I'm going to re-roll one of these to hit with the missile because I think... Yay, hey. one's gone through. <laughs> now, the crack missile is strength 10 against the Rhino's toughness 10, presumably. Uh, toughness of 9, actually. Okay, so 3 is to wound. It's a 5. It's solid. That, uh, that's minus 2 AP and D6 damage. Okay, and you've still got the last cannons to fire Still got this. the last cannons to fire. I think it's I'll just steam coming off your head. I think I'm just going to take my save. Oh Lord! It's a miracle. <laughs> I have faith. <laughs> Praise Henry. Praise Henry. The ballistas last cannon now coming in at the same target. Obviously, we're hitting on threes. It's two hit. A solid. Strength is twelve. It's three to wound. Wounded. Minus three AP. Okay. D6 plus one damage. Oh, maybe I should have saved them for this. Where's your miracle now? <laughs> I, to be fair, Where work. is your god now? Standing there he behind is. Me, actually. <laughs> uh, two six plus saves. Yeah. Oh, oh it's my, a... you're getting on my nerves now. <laughs> it's so making up for that. So Vinny, Vinny so, failed me yeah, so badly. So D6 plus one. Oh no! What so was two, it? Only three damage. Then. Three damage, and it started off with ten wounds. So it's down to seven. Very disappointing. Welcome to the dark side of the board, which I never filmed from. <laughs> Hence the incomplete terrain, the light on the floor, and probably some other muck. And my feet, thanks. Oh yeah, next yeah. feet. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be charging my dreadnoughts in here. So, you're going to do any Overwatch with those sisters? Uh, that's an extremely good question. I, I'm well aware I have no CP. Night here. <laughs> I want to tell you what I will do. I did forget to do early. The mortifiers died, and I should have got a miracle dice. because. Okay, yeah, get yourself a miracle dice. I'll have myself a five. Treat Thank yourself you to a five. Today. Okay, so we're going to try and make this distance. I'll, do, I'll go with this one first. I'm going to recock that. It's four inches anyway. Hoi. Hoi. So first dreadnought's in. Straight ahead. goes stomping through into here. Dum, 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 dum. And the other one makes it in with a five. To there. The sisters in the bush are preparing for a strong fisting from the dreadnought. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm <laughs> never putting my adept <laughs> near any kind of foliage again. We're hitting, on, th hitting on threes. Uh, we've hit with three of them. They're wounding on twos. All wounded. Just. Nice. Uh, so it's minus two AP. Minus, yes it will be. And so it's, it's normally three damage a piece, but they're only that will. It's a five plus save, and three of them, is it? Yeah. Okay. How much do I want these guys to stay alive? There could be another miracle. Oh, there could be another miracle, actually. There could be another oh, miracle. Oh, lordy. There could be. I think I need to keep that five till next time. I think just, okay. They're just going to die, basically. Right, so two five plus saves. Oh, no, sorry, three. Apologies, three. Both saved so far. Rank. Oh, oh so I far. Leave it out. Who needs a miracle? <laughs> oh, yeah. Praise Henry. Praise Henry. We're going to have to do the other Dreadnought and see what, what be some, that one can do. Will this fisting get how any more reliable? Sisters, how many sisters are there? Uh, the, the Hospitaller is so far out of range, she's not going to be involved in this, but the Cannoness, uh, sorry, the Palatine and the four Dominions are part of this squad. So, so there's five. five there. I need to basically kill a few of them to try and win this point. So I've missed with one, hit with... Four. Two's to wound. Two's to wound. They've all wounded. Now. Now things get more interesting. Right. Four <laughs> saves. Five saves. So you lost three. Lost three. However, uh, how many damage per hit? Three damage. Right, so unless I get three fives on each of these, so each one's got uh, feel no pain. Oh! No. So close. Not a chance. Not a chance. Three dead. Okay, that'll do me. That's manageable. And my girl's gonna move into you and keep hitting. Yeah. The Palatine has got the Blessed Blade. Ble uh, Blade of Saint Eleanor, apparently. So adding one to her Great attack, name. strength, and damage. Yeah, I thought so. that's pretty good. So she actually has five attacks, and she is on a two plus to hit. That's four hits. Now, she is strength, was many strength four, now strength five, but unfortunately her still toughness 10, so it's yeah. still not that great. So it's six is to wound. None. Really no. would have liked that, but never okay. mind. And the normal uh, little lady on her own, Battle Sister, has got, what has she got, melee weapon wise? She's got some terrible little thing. Close combat weapon. She's got one attack, apparently. She's not very good. She's got a four plus to hit. She's really not very good. One hit, strength three, so it's six to wound. No. A solid no one. Good. <laughs> okay, so, so at the end of that combat, that looks like it's going to be Dreadnought owned. Uh, I think so. I don't know what your o the OC points are. So my OC is four, so I will oh. have eight there. Then you will at this point hold that objective, so I will not hold it by the time my next turn comes around. Excrement. At the end of battle round one, I have managed to score Storm the Hostile objective with that one over there, scoring me five victory points. I've also scored a tempting target which is also on the same objective marker over there. And I've I've killed a unit where you didn't kill a unit in turn one, so I, I get uh, points for killing. You're killing a unit and for killing more and than killing I've more. killed, which is none. So you are at a grand total of 18 victory points to my miserable three. Oh dear. <laughs> it's a strong but, but, start. But your knight is now on the table. I wonder if we can turn it around with sisters turn two. Let's find out. Which is turn two. So, first of all, my new card, I've still got Overwhelming Force, so I'm trying to uh, deal with you when you're on objective markers. I'm going to try and do that this turn with your Dreadnoughts. Oh, yes. And Cleanse I've drawn. In my shooting phase, I can choose some units to not be allowed to uh, shoot, and that are not battle shot, and that's going to be very important in a minute. And if they're next to an objective marker, they can cleanse it, which sounds very appropriate for the Sororitas. They cleanse stuff. They're yeah. all about that kind of cleansing stuff. So. A battle shock test would have been taken. battle shocked, wouldn't they? These two, well, these are going to potentially be. They got to take a battle shock test now in my command phase. I have rolled another miracle dice off camera. It was a four. I've got one, five, and a four. Now I need these guys to be able to take this objective if I can clear your dreadnoughts off. So let's try and make sure we actually pass this. Let's use. I want that five for damage rolls, but I think we're going to have to use it for the battle shock. So I'm only allowed to use one for the test. So I've got to still roll one more, and the Palatine is a leadership of seven, seven. So I need a two, not a one, basically. A pass. Hey, so one. they are not battle shocked they thanks to the miracles of Jeebus, <laughs> or whatever that fellow is. Thank you, Jeebus. You mean Henry Cavill? That's him, Henry. Praise Henry. Praise uh, Henry. Okay, so you've done your movement. That's my movement. As uh, talk the, to us about your movement. You certainly. Your, your knight that we keep forgetting is on the board. <laughs> it's there. It's who could forget him? Throne shield has moved up. He's now just one in more than one inch away from your dreadnought over here. Mm -hmm. The uh, Sororitas who were in combat have fallen back from combat into the uh, bush because uh -huh. that's, where that's where they're happiest. 
Uh, fortunately, the Repentia have also not felt quite so brave after he took a few chunks out of their Rhino, which has regained a wound in the command phase. Yeah. That's what Rhinos do. And it's backed up. It's got itself out. I've actually moved that slightly out of the way. I've got to move it. Yeah, that's Just fine. out of the way of your so Ballista's he's out, Dreadnought. He's out of line of sight from the Ballista's, is he? Exactly. Yeah, okay. Uh, everyone on the far side has also just moved forward because, honestly, I, they just need to start taking some chunks out of your guys. I'm not convinced they're not going to get wiped out, but at the very least, they'll take someone with them. So we'll see how it goes. And in the backfield, it's pretty solid for screening off, isn't it? That's still. the plan. As indeed, my uh, Arca Flagellant's holding the back. And in the meantime, St. Celestine has come down and is and hiding very hiding bravely building, behind she? this building because there's nowhere else to get close to you. But she is now in a nice little position where she can start dealing with you next turn. The uh, Seraphim, however, have stayed off. I'm going to keep them for turn three to see where your Terminator's coming from, just to see if I can bother you a bit more. And that's about it. On to the shooting fight. First unit to shoot is the Retributors in the building over here. Who are they targeting, Nick? They're targeting the uh, Dreadnought. I'm going to say your wounded one, but I want to make sure the Multimaster are actually in range of the wounded one. They are, and they... Oh, they're not. Right. Okay. In which case? Well, that's <laughs> target selection 101. <laughs> so, the, the two heavy bolters and one multi melter are targeting the one at the back. The other multi melter is targeting the one at the front. Okay. So, the retributors are not nearly so good as they used to be, I don't think. They're four to hit, pluses yeah. to hit, which is not so near so good. And their ability, Storm of Retribution, I can re roll wound rolls of one, apparently. So, I'm going to, first of all, let's have two shots, first of all, against the one at the back. So, four pluses to hit, one hits. And it is a strength 9 weapon, I want to say, for a multi-melter, uh, against your toughness of 10. ten. So 5 to wound. It's a wound. Just. Minus 4. Oh, Lord. Oh, lordy duckling. So that's no save for me, is it? Uh, it's no save. Oh, no, right? hang on. No, it's a 2 plus save on that, so it's a 6. Oh, okay. Well, don't do it. Hey. No. no. D6 no damage, but minus 1 because of your fine brew. So 3 more wounds. 3 wounds. Sticks nice. To down to 7 wounds. So this is the other multi melter now shooting at the unwounded Dreadnought. Indeed, at uh, th four pluses to hit. Both nice hit. shooting. Very nice. Uh, fives to wound. Not so great. Oh dear. <laughs> and then there's two heavy bolters, both firing at the wounded one. So it's uh, fours to hit once again. So yeah, not so not so great with its old with the old accuracy these days. But sustained hits. If I get any sixes, I do not. In fact, there's only, only one, one hit, hit, oh, one hit out of all tragedy of that. in the war zone. <laughs> uh, strength five against toughness ten, so yeah. six to wound. Doesn't get it. That's not a six, Nick. That's not a six, mate. With that wound roll of one, you've got a fat flying baby as part of your squad, <laughs> haven't you? <laughs> I do, and storm of retribution means that. Uh, well, do you know it's actually their innate rule? Oh, they okay. can re-roll wound rolls of one anyway. So let's uh, get that done. It doesn't wound. No, not enough. But it's worth a go. <laughs> worth a try. This sister squad put down a hail of fire against the bikes, taking off only two wounds from one of the bikers. Yes, indeed. I, in fact, I'm not going to put it on that one. I'm going to put it on the one at the back. <laughs> Probably a good move. In fact, I'm going to put it on the ATV. Oh, can him. Okay. And uh, counting down. Old, old flaming Judy's going to fire now, and she's got a D6 number of shots with her heavy flamers. Four shots. One, two, three, four. And it's uh, automatic hits, of course. Strength six against toughness five, so threes to wound. That's pretty solid. That's three wounds, and it's all at minus one, so three, four plus save, please. Oh, Saved nice them. Enough. Oh no, one's gone one through. One's gone sorry. through, so one's down to one wound. How many save wounds does the ATV have? Is that have? one wound gone? One more wound gone? Yes, one more wound gone. Okay, so that's lost three wounds now. The ATV has eight wounds down to five. The Exorcist is going to fire its missiles now. <laughs> it's going to fire into that same bike squadron. Oh lord, are they going for and it then? It's not in direct fire now, it can actually see them. Yeah, so, it's only trees. Yeah, trees do not, it's not, it's not enough. It's not enough, it's not enough these days. It's not, not enough. Not in this game. <laughs> so it's going to fire its missiles and it is, with its little missiles, uh, D6 plus two number of shots. There's three shots. Good. This thing's going to have to do a lot better yeah. at some point. The, the stupid keyboard player is missing every note. We're playing. <laughs> da, da, yeah, da, da, da. Just, just honking. Three. So it's uh, two plus to hit because it's heavy and it stayed still. She's managed, still managed to miss with one. Yeah. So two. Two hits and it's strength ten against toughness five. So two's to wound. Yeah. Both wound. And it's minus two. So two five plus saves. 
There's two have gone through. And it's 2d6 damage. Oh lordy. So we'll roll him one at a time because the ATV's got five wounds left. Is that That's right. right. Oh, thank God for that. At least the ATV's gone. Yeah, so Shazam. One less multi melt to worry about. Gone. Oh lord. Oh lord. Uh, and it actually has a heavy bolter as well, which will fire at the yeah, same time. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll crack. Crack. Just for a laugh. Uh, three plus to hit, I think, for the heavy bolter. Two hits. Uh, strength five against toughness five. It is fours. fours to wound. One wound. It's minus one, but you're definitely getting cover from the forest. Uh, so it's just a three plus save. No. And two damage. Oh, caused. okay. So one uh, bike's down to two wounds. The knight with its battle cannon is going to be targeting. It's going to be targeting, first of all, uh, the wounded dreadnought at the back. In the bush. Yes. In the bush. It's with its battle cannon, and it's two heavy stubbers, and the rocket, sh uh, rocket launcher on top are going to be firing at the... Probably best to fire at the other dreadnought. Because I've got a lot of shots coming from this battle cannon. I'll be very disappointed if this doesn't do the job at yeah. this point. I think, no, the uh, battle cannon and both stubbers into the wounded dreadnought and the rocket launcher into uh, the closest one. Okay. Okay. So Let's get it done. So the battle cannon first. It's disgusting. It's basically at close range, it's 2d6 plus 6 number of shots. So, well, that's not that disgusting. Uh, so it's 10, 10 shots. 10 shots of a battle cannon. It's not too shabby. What's its strength? It is strength 10. Oh, so it's forced to wound. Hang on, got hit first. Three, oh, yeah. Three. <laughs> Let's get those hits in first. And it's allowed, <laughs> with being a paladin, it's allowed to roll one hit roll, one wound roll, or one saving throw per phase. So uh, one hit roll I can re-roll right now, which is probably going to be the one to get going. Initially. Yeah, I'd say so. So threes to hit first of all. Oh, That's stunning. That's not bad. It's a stunning roll. Do you know what? I'm not going to do, I'm going to re-roll one of the wound rolls instead. Yeah, wisdom. So, so there you go. So that number go through, which is good. So uh, it is four pluses to wound, allowing for one re-roll. One in eight re-roll. That's not too bad either. That's a roll. That's You've got another one out of that re-roll. It's good, 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 good. There's a two and a one. That's, they go. They're gone. So it's four go through. And it is only minus one. So you got... Oh, you got a f two plus armor save. I do. See, this is where I shouldn't have split fire. I tell yeah. myself every time I shouldn't have split fire. Saved. Untouched. <laughs> I was getting nervous then, but then I'm I remembered that touched I'm awesome. All... And I'm no longer worried. That's amazing. So the uh, pitiful fire pinged off the paint of a purple paint <laughs> job. There's a lot of peas. A lot of peas. But now, so that because you split five with the rockets, the rockets are going into the other unwounded dreadnought there. This one at the front. It is three pluses to hit. All hit. Nice hitting. And strength eight, so it's fives to wound. Fives to wound with toughness ten. Just one goes through. It's minus two, so it's a four plus armor save for you. You've saved, saved it. Saved it with a six. What would the damage have been? A d6. Ah, well, okay, that could have done some work, but it did not happen this day. So Vincent is going to try and shoot <laughs> the apothecary this time. Come on, Vincent. Because Azrael was just too difficult to do. It's apparently just too tough. He just can't do it. Come on, Vincent. Come He's Vincent. got a two plus to hit. You know you're my brother. <laughs> Good hit. It's a hit. It's not, a, it's not an amazing hit, but it's a hit nonetheless. It's a strength seven weapon, so it's a three plus to wound. And it's got devastating wounds, so uh, obviously a six would be mortals. Uh, that's a uh, failed wound. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. So glad I brought all these so supporting sorry. units. These allied units yeah. have been great this day. <laughs> really sorry. But I'm not sorry. The pitiful shooting phase is over. So now <laughs> Flaming Judy's watched her ragtag group of sisters do nothing all game. So she's going to try and make this seven inch charge. She's going to show them how it's done now. That's yeah. what's going to happen now. Flaming so. Judy loves seven inches. Let's go. We can do this. <laughs> Here comes Flaming Judy. We can do this. She's got it with she's, an 11. She's only gone and made it in. She's only gone and done it. So Flaming Judy having made it in and the 11 inch charge required, well, seven inches, but they made it all the way in there. And managed to get on the objective. And managed to get onto the objective, which is um, Convenient. awesome. <laughs> So, so the knight we're going to start with, because you haven't got the CP to interrupt anyway. No, I don't. So you're going so, to start the fight over here. So you've got a gigantic fist. And he gets to re-roll, once again, one hit roll or wound roll per, per phase. So this might be a time to use it. So he's going to do his four hits, because that's the kind of guy he is. This yeah. is what he does. So he's, he's going, going to be a, three a, pluses. A dry slap. Three pluses to hit. There's two hit. Oh, no, there's one not. hit. There's, there's one hit. One. <laughs> going to 
to re-roll one naturally, and it hits. Yeah. Get rid of a CP, please. No, no, that was that was innate. Oh. That was innate. So he still got here. I can still do a CP re-roll. Yeah, thank nice. goodness. If I need to. So uh, it's strength twenty. So two plus to wound, and I can still re-roll one. Which I might need to at this point. No, they actually wounded to Christmas Miracle. Yeah. And it's minus three. So you've got uh, two... S five ups. Five plus saves. Nine. No. And each one is eight damage. Oh, good lord. <laughs> so mine, even with your minus modifiers, that's still 14 damage. So that I'm I wondering if I could get a CP one of these. Ooh. But what's the damage, is it? Each one, each one is seven damage, basically. Because of the minus because one of the, for the because of the minus one. So yeah, okay. So you, how many wounds have one got? You're not in combat with the wounded one, are you? No. So no, sadly, sadly, I, I could, get to I him. could re-roll one, of, try and re-roll one of these saves for a five plus. I've got to do it. <laughs> I've got to do it. Bill, here comes Don't. a five plus. Watch this. Oh my god! No, thank goodness <laughs> for that. <laughs> and then dead, deadly demise. Does it go up on a six? Oh yeah, that'd be good. No. No. So just remove from play, please. That's uh, the first one. Nick. I certainly shall. And uh, I will consolidate. Uh, three inches, hopefully, into your next dreadnought. You will be offered to be getting punched back by said dreadnought if you did. True, but I will also be locking you up in... Yeah. It's a very, very valid point. You can consolidate three inches towards the objective. No, because there is someone I can consolidate into. You can only do that if there's no enemy to consolidate oh, that into. Right? That's, oh, okay. the, weird, that's nice. the funky rule. Well, it's a learning game, isn't it? It's it a, is. It's, it's, it every is. day's a learning day. <laughs> The knight has backed off cowardly. <laughs> I've thought about it. Rather than consolidating into you and giving you a free turn of hit yeah. shooting. You're already me. on the objective. I'm already on the objective. Your you're objective, gonna... you're OC 10. I am, I believe. OC yeah. 10. And you're... I, and you're just basically offering me a free bunch of punching. Yeah. And I think next turn I'll accept that, but this turn best not. Yeah. So I'll accept the fact that sisters probably get themselves chewed to hell next turn. All right. Flaming Judy now with four attacks coming in on the bikes. Two pluses to hit with her mace of castigation. Say that when you're drunk. Excuse me, Mrs. All hit. Nice. It is strength six, so threes to wound. Uh, my rolling. Your rolling has been absolutely dog waste. It has been awful. Do I do I want to CP that? I don't think it's just gonna, a smash a bike. It's just a but it will finish off one of them. Well, you've got one through, which I might. Which, which might, might be enough. It. So. It's minus two. I don't think I'm going to save my CP for that. Okay, so, so what's the save I need? Uh, it's a five plus save, please. No. Okay, and it's two damage. So that will finish off the injured bike. That bike goes. And then I'll do the remaining sisters off camera because I don't think they're going to be very interesting. Space Marines returned with some hits, killing two sisters in return. Scores on the doors, Nick, at the end of Sisters Turn 2. So, I, I, we've got to mention in my command phase, of course, I scored the 4VP for holding one objective. That's correct. I did not, however, hold uh, more, more than you, unfortunately. I didn't get the other four. On top of that, I've got Cleanse, which is where two units, the Dominion Squad over here, and the Sisters that retreated over here, because they're not battle-shocked, very importantly. Uh, they've cleansed their two objectives, so that gets me five extra victory points. An overwhelming force destroying one of your models, which was the dreadnought within it, which was next to a, uh, an objective, has got me a further three. So the total I'm up to now is 15 victory points. Sweet action. Uh, 15 victory points to your 18 as we go into Space Marines turn two. Space Marines turn two. The cards I've drawn are extend battle, line, battle lines. So I get five VP if I control one or more objective markers in my own deployment zone and one in no man's land. And the secondary here is Defend Stronghold at the end of my opponent's turn or at the end of the game. If you control one or more objective markers in your own deployment zone, the secondary mission is achieved. So that has dictated how I've moved some of my stuff. So my home objective marker, I was going to move the guys off it because they make it sticky, but I think they're best counted as they are now for their OC because I've got um, Celestine hiding around the corner. The Lancers moved around to try and uh, move block a little bit but also get a line of sight on the knight over there as has the ballista's dreadnought that dreadnought stayed running truly uh, planted in the bush the hell blasters had to advance to make it up onto this objective over here so there'll be no hell blasting i don't think but they are very much OCing that objective at the moment over here the bikes have stayed in combat um very weak on this side i am so I brought in the Terminators to try and bolster 
uh, some defense or, or some objectives later on in game. That's it. So I gained two CP because of Azrael. You gained Miracle Once Dice. I gained. And a CP. Yes, I haven't done my Miracle Dice yet. <sighs> it's a six. Uh, how many points do I score for my primaries? Well, you score one for holding your one already. So and uh, you yeah. don't hold a second one at the moment. You didn't at the start of your command phase. No, so, so you get to get the one. four. Just the four. First unit to fire is going to be the Hell Blasters with their assault weapons firing at the squad of sisters here with super overcharge actually i don't want to overcharge there's no point is there probably not i mean well, the, this is the ap this, isn't it yeah this is and i'm going to miss, miss heresy yeah. they could only shoot the one but here yeah. they can shoot the they whole shoot the squad, squad. <laughs> uh, I, for the extra ap i think i am going to do it okay and i'll also oh, bring you never back. Took any hazardous tests oh no i didn't i didn't i did i'll do it should i do it now go on just for a laugh i rolled my hazardous check for earlier and they've come through clean they have done and we gained one for the apothecary. The Empress Miles. <laughs> the Empress Miles. Okay. So here we go, targeting. So I'm gonna, do I want to play lethal hits? I'm going to save the CP because there's other stuff I can do. So sixes cause uh, sustained hits. Oh my <laughs> word! <laughs> oh, so I actually gained one. <laughs> I have three misses, but I got four. I got the extra sustained hits. So this many going through to wound on with twos. Done all right there as well, I think. Not too shabby. This. So that's nine have gone through, so you've got some sixes you're going to need. You haven't got any Miracle Dice sixes, have you? I do, but not worth saving on this Dominion squad. Oh, I'm trying to draw you out. I'm trying to draw you out. Three oh, you've sixes. Made, you've made three, three sixes, so that's what, three six sixes. dead sisters? That's a lot of dead sisters, basically. Peel them off, please. Uh, uh, the bikes fired their pistols into combat and killed one sister in the face. So now we're moving over to this direction for the Dreadnought in the bush. She, he's going to be targeting... There are some sisters in there. Can you point them out, Nick? There's one remaining Dominion, and then there's two characters who all form part of the same squad. Apparently. Okay, so we're going to be using everything against that. <laughs> them, sorry, I should say. Um, threes to hit, I think. Threes to hit. Uh, Twos to wound. Strength six. Yes. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy, duck Only in. two. The two. Gatling cannons have not been nearly as effective for me today. No, everything else has. You've been all right. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to mind. <laughs> Three plus save, and they're saved. Nice. Flamer, Torrent for four shots. Wounding on... Threes? I think it's twos, it's strength six. Oh, strength it? six, oh, I'm sorry, then it's twos, yeah, yeah. yeah. And... Oh. Is it minus, minus one? Minus one AP I on think the Flamers? So. Yes, it is. So four plus armor save. Uh, I better do these one at a time. Yeah, because, because you've got a mixed group there. characters. So the normal she's sister got, is she's dead. She's got five plus in and feel no pain. Nope, she's dead. There's two more saves remaining for the Hospitalia. Hospitaler. One goes through. Does she give herself... Modern that you know, the feel no pain, five plus five, yeah. I guess. Yep. She gets a five plus. She, she can no stick pain. a needle in her own self. No. So one wound goes through. Sweet. So imagine strip off another wound with the grenade launches on the... Is it Hospitalia? Hos Hospitaler. 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 Uh, and that's all the firing from the Dread. Okay, we're firing the Lancer at the night over there. It is oafed, but both have hit. So threes to wound. I can re-roll that with oath for two wounds. Minus. Minus is four. Okay. He's got two with his ion shield, two five plus invulnerable saves. Oh no! no that does it. So the damage is d6 plus three. I'm telling. Is that one? You're gonna re-roll it because otherwise the knight's dead. So, uh, oh, he can. Sorry, he can re-roll one a turn. One. What can you re-roll? One saving throw made for this model. One re -roll. Okay, nice. So I can actually re-roll it out of... Oh, he saves it. Yeah, okay, so one's gone through. One's gone through. For D6 plus three damage. That's eight damage, very nice. Good shot. And it's on tw from 22 wounds down eight, so it's down to 14 wounds, I believe. Well, let's just Dreadnought next. We're hitting, we're firing the everything at the knight again. Last cannon shots. Both hit. Yeah, so it's fours. Both two wounds. wounds and again it's minus three so you do get a little cheeky save do you? yes because he only has a three plus save in fact he gets his five plus invulnerable saves against shooting doesn't get either of them but i can re-roll one per turn doesn't get it you already re-rolled one didn't you oh yeah sorry yeah. sorry <laughs> yeah it's only one for failure. okay so it? it is d6 plus one damage oh no well that's useful so that's four. So only another four. Okay. Okay, so that's down to 10 wounds already, though. 
And now it's going to come down to the rockets <laughs> of the Cracks. ballistas crack launcher. <laughs> <laughs> crack <laughs> towards it, my bush. Hit it on threes. <laughs> Two, uh, I'm going to re-roll that because of Oath. I love Oath. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Best roll. Fives. Yeah. Fives to wound. Neither wounds. Oath of the moment. This is the moment. No. <laughs> In the fight phase, what's happened so far is they've charged one inch to be in combat with that lady there. You measured that, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Dreadnought made it one inch also into the uh, fight with the Knight. And they are going to remain where they are because I can't get through this lot. Maybe I should have drawn them to go in, but it's too much of an ask, I think, to get there. <laughs> So, and funny enough, I am going to fire some Overwatch. Do some Overwatch, Nick. It'd yeah. be rude not to. It'd be rude not to. Let's get it Why done. not? <laughs> so, uh, it's going to be his rapid fire battle cannon, uh, which is 2d6 plus 6 number of shots. See if he can actually roll more than whatever he rolled last time. Not much. So, 12 shots. 12 shots. 12 shots. That was exactly the same as last time, was it? Or was it 10? I can't remember. Who cares? 7, 8. <laughs> Shut up, Bill. Shots. Looking, fishing for those 6s. Oh. There's a few. 6. Oh, no, Lord. five. Five sixes. Look at that. Impressive. Not too shabby. And it is at strength 10, so four pluses to wound you. Yeah. Uh, two. two go through. Do I want to re-roll one of those for a command point re-roll? This, because this is the charge phase. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a four plus. Oh, in. nice. So that's down to one CP. And that is, oh, they're only minus one, so you're three plus armor saves. I've made two of them, one's gone through. Okay. It's three damage reduced to two, so that's yeah. down to five wounds. So the first of the natural, uh, so the first of the charging units to fight, you haven't got the CP to spend now, so it's gonna be, I'll go with the Tech Marine first. Okay. The Tech Marine, who's fighting over here, has the Heavenfall Blade, which has added some damage to his ability to his um, Omnissiah Board. Power Axe. So instead of four attacks, he's hitting on five attacks. Hitting on threes. And it is oafed. Of course it is. So we hit him with everything now. <laughs> uh, the strength is six, so it goes up to seven with heaven fall. So Makes a difference. So it's uh, fives to wound rather than sixes. Okay, so we've got a couple through there and gonna reroll those. Nothing extra. And it is minus two AP. Okay, so it just he doesn't get his ion save anyway, but it's just a five plus save. Neither saves. And that's um, two damage normally. I think the Heavenfall Blade, did I say it adds one to the damage? Strength, attack, I don't know if it added one to the damage. Do check. Let's find out. Nice. Yeah, so it adds one to the damage, putting up to uh, three damage apiece. So that's six more wounds have gone through on the knight. So and that's just with the Omnissiah Axe. That is critical as well. Yeah, because nice. that takes him into raspberry mode, and while in raspberry mode, his uh, objective control goes Half to five. Down, goes down to five. Yeah, nice. Okay, that's cool. Let's see if we can finish him off with a redemptor. The redemptor now in the bush, targeting the knight, hitting with five attacks, hitting on threes. He's not on raspberry, does he? No, he's on full strength. I think that one, nice. or partially wounded. Rerolling that one because of the oath of moment. Of course. To get all the hits in. I love oath. Uh, rolling to wound, we are strength 12 against those fours. Fours to wound. Couple of oaths. And they've got an extra one out of oaths, so that's four that have gone through at minus two. So I've got four saves, and they are at five plus. And how many damage each? Three damage apiece. Oh, well, this isn't good, is it? <laughs> Excellent. Oh He's no! <laughs> you killed the knight! Do we, does he deadly demise? I certainly hope so. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I know he does, but uh, roll a six and let's see what... Let's see what happens. Oh, hey, what a build so up! The knight with the tech marine and a little brother and the redemptor have Who smashed the knight to bits. Nothing. And nothing. <laughs> following that combat, we can consolidate three inches towards the objective. You so certainly can. can put my tech marine towards... And your uh, and the and the dreadnought, yeah, obviously, yeah, just nudge them up. Yeah, little cheeky nudge. Sweet action. Further assaults took place, so the hell blasters managed to kill a few sisters. Was it just a one? Uh, just the or two. Yeah. I can't remember how many they killed. Now I've got actually. No, checked. no, you saved it. You I saved, saved, it. saved. Yeah. We saved. And, I was thinking and something's they did not right here. Back, so that was a really boring attack there. <laughs> but then, uh, flaming Julie smashed the face off a biker. 
she with did. her two damage weapon, which done some work. But now we've got a sister squad here that's going to fight against the bike. Do, What's going on? They're going to do their best. That's Go all on. they can do. Now you've, oh. you've spent a CP. Uh, I've, I've spent a CP on Holy Rage to try and hurt the bike a bit more. So that gives them plus one to wound in the fight phase because they're so weak otherwise. Yeah. So four pluses to hit with their normal hits. Uh, that is Good roll. 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 Toughness five. Toughness five. Uh, again, so it's a. Uh, it should be five plus to wound. In fact, it's four plus to wound with their little thing. Yeah. Uh, I'll bring in one miracle dice now. Yeah, Get nice. One wound. Got to use them up. Yeah, exactly. They're there. And then those ones wound. Four uh, more so saves. Four save. Four normal saves, please. Oh, hello. Two have gone through. Two more wounds. Okay. That's stripping so that bike's it down. down to two wounds. Very nice. I believe that's all of the combats. That's about all we have to do right now. And that's end of my turn. It is, and I'll work out how many uh, victory points you have in just a moment. So at the end of turn two, I score five victory points for extended battle lines. That one's still active. Uh, I think I've got done quite well, to be fair. Oh, so that puts me on 25 to 18 or something? 27 points to 15. 27, to 15 to the Very Marines nice. going into Sisters turn three. Cards you've drawn, Nick. Uh, investigate signals. So we're going to be uh, going into the corners of the table and bring it down. So I'm going to try and kill a monster or a vehicle. Nice. So possible things. So investigating signals in terms of movement. I've rolled a miracle dice uh, for this turn. I got a six, which was nice. Always used to have. Got to remember to use them. Uh, movement wise. Uh, movement wise. The Seraphim have come down over here, and the Repentia have left their Rhino and come running over to try They've and get run into the in bush. Combat. Into the bush. Everyone wants to be in the bush. The Dominions uh, have come and fallen out of combat and come back out uh, to get round out of this line of sight of the Hellblasters. Yeah. And the Rhino has come round to try and do a little cheeky charge. Yeah, now I did spend a uh, CP to try and overwatch the Rhino to no effect. And, and over and here... you your hazardous test, I think, what did one die? I lost one from the hazardous test that I forgot to roll before in the previous turn. Oh, that wasn't from this? Was there a hazardous test? No, there was no hazardous... Oh! Because you fact. just you had a hazardous test for these yeah. guys now, which you haven't rolled, so we'll do um, that. So there's only... it was... One, two, three, four, five dudes. See, lots of ones. No ones. No, I survive. <laughs> I survive. I survive. Very good. Celestine and her Gemini have come down to try and get themselves in range of the intercessors in the back there to try and start bothering you on your home objective, yeah. even though I don't know how long she'll last doing so. Uh, and Judy and the... Uh, yeah, you withdrew sisters. from the combat over here, so you're still in control of the objective. Exactly true. And they get, in fact, a Battle Sisters unit while controlling an objective gets an additional miracle guys. So I'm going to take a... Two. Spare two, just in case I really, really urgently need one of those. Sweet. So. Some early fires got in. The Rhino popped some shots at the Terminator to no effect. The squad of Retributors in the building yep. didn't do any work against the Dreadnought despite their best efforts. They failed miserably. And even the Flaming Sword over here actually killed uh, one Intercessor. It did. But the Gemini didn't out. So, so we're going to we'll fire... move on to the Exorcist now. Yes, indeed. The Heavy Bolt is going to fire at the... Uh, these guys in the centre, yeah. and the missile launcher will be firing to try and finish off this dreadnought to try and clear the objective okay. for me to take. So the heavy bolt is three plus to hit, two hits, uh, threes to wound, no wounds. Oh lord! And it's d6 plus two number of shots with the uh, funky tank. I believe uh, it should worthy of note. You've used a, a reroll, haven't you already? I have already used a reroll. Yeah. Quite correct. For a CP. To try and do the old uh, dreadnought, and it failed miserably. Okay, so against the exorcist, <laughs> so the exorcist now rockets. D6 plus two. Oh, Nick, what is going on? It's not. It's not been a good game for the rolling. Uh, threes to hit. Uh, it stood still. It's not in direct fire, so actually it's a two plus to hit because oh. it can actually see the dreadnought. So mm. it's uh, and a heavy weapon. So it's twos to hit. Still manages to miss one, but we've got to. <laughs> we got to. Uh, and it is strength ten against toughness ten. So. Fours to wound. Fours to wound. You've got a miracle dice. I there, do, right? but I won't have to save them for the damage. That's the really important part. I think I'm You've going got to. Got a wound need... to do damage. I've got. I know that's true. I'm going to have to do one. I'm going to have to use a miracle dice now. Nice. It's a miracle. One's wounded. The other one has not Three. wounded. So wow. unfortunately, it won't be able to go through. So it's uh, minus two, please. So five plus. Uh, yeah. Five plus armor save. Oh no, I'm sorry, it was a uh, 4 plus armor. 4 plus armor, yeah, that's right. that's right. But you've saved regardless. I'm safe anyway. Redemptors are boss. Yep. The assassin's going to fire last. He is. When and he's going to fire. Do you know what? He's going to just make another. He's failed so badly, he's got to make up for it. He's going for Azrael. He's going for <laughs> Azrael. It's <laughs> he's, happening. He's leaning over the top. He's, he's going. 
Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Come on, piggy. Come on, piggy. Piggy is slopping in hell's trough. <laughs> it's too plus to hit. Oh, oh thank God. I've done it just about. Just about. It's a uh, strength seven weapon, so three plus to wound as yeah. well. It wounds, and it's a devastating wound. Oh no! So, so that's, that goes to mortals. Now, do you have some protection? I do. I have wounds? a once per game watcher in the dark, which I will deploy. What I should have, I should have done it before he started shooting, but I would have done it had I known he'd of done course. mortal wounds. Of course. What do you? I don't have to do anything. He just summons the watcher in the dark, and it gives me a four plus save against mortal wounds. Well, it's D three plus three mortal wounds. So you roll D three plus three. Four mortal wounds. So, and an I roll four dice to try and mitigate some of that damage taken against Azrael. I save one of them, so he takes three, three mortal wounds. wounds. How many wounds does he have total? I think he's six. That's real. Yeah, he's six wounds. So, so Vinny kind of did something yeah. once. He blew an arm off or something. <laughs> the charge phase, Celestine has managed to use a miracle dice to make it into combat over here. On this side, the rhino has got a bit bold and has gone for a bit of a toe-touching <laughs> technique over in the centre. Uh, Flaming Judy and her squad couldn't charge because, of course, they withdrew last turn. But of course, the uh, what the do we call it? The Repentia managed to get through the bush and make it into <laughs> combat with the Dreadnought and the Tech Marine. They did, and the Palatine made the combat. The two, yeah. despite the fact I think Celestine is less at risk from the Incestors than these girls are from the Tech Marine and the Dread. So the Repentia are going to go first. Okay. So the Repentia have got. So I've got two of them attacking uh, the Tech Marine first of all, and it's uh, four attacks, and I can re-roll the hit roll and re-roll the wound roll on the charge. So it is four pluses to hit only. Just one reroll. They get it. It is strength six against your tech marine. I'm guessing it's toughest four. Toughest four. Guess. Yeah. So three plus to wound, rerolling. Reroll on those two. Oh, it's like oath of moment. No. Right. <laughs> and uh, it is minus two each of those and two damage per hit. So I assume you've got a three plus save. Tech marine has. Uh, that's two plus save. A two plus save. Lovely. So, so what is it minus three, what? Three, four plus saves. Two have gone through. How many wounds you got? He is a four wound model. Oh, he's finished. Two damage per hit. Yeah, nice one. Nice. So there's one dead tech room. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Beep, boop, Thank you for coming. Beep, beep, boop, boop. <laughs> and you've got uh, one, two, three, four, five who've managed to get into combat with the dreadnoughts. Two hits each. Or five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They are four pluses to hit but re-rolling. Which they're going to need. That's not bad. Not bad. Still managed to miss four times. But they are very, <laughs> they are very angry, to be fair. Well, I won't make the obvious jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Try to hold it in. <laughs> Try to hold it in. Struggling. I'm uh, struggling. Five plus the wound, but re rolling. They got three wounds through. Okay. Now, each of those. Oh, you reduce damage, don't you? I do reduce damage, yes. Well, I was about to say I nearly could have finished you, but sadly, as much as I'd love to finish you off, Bill. Hey. Hey. And what am I looking for? Uh, you're looking for four plus saves. Uh, two have gone through, one has saved. What, was was there a minus to their it was, Yeah, it was minus two, so it should have been a, a two damage each, but of course only two have gone through, so in fact, you're down to three wounds. So you're raspberry Yeah, yeah, I'm in the bracket, I'm in the raspberry mode. But that's but as I'm much as I can say for you. I'm alive. Alive! I have, over here I played uh, an interrupt CP to fight with my intercessors. I managed to kill one of the Gemini, but now it's going to be Celestine's turn to do her thang. Do her thang. And she has got five attacks, uh, which are coming in at two pluses to hit. One hit. It's strength six, so it's three plus to wound. Two wound. And it's minus three and two damage, so. Oh it's lordy. Sixes. No, no two, dead. two dead. Three attacks. So this is the. The other, the last, the Gemini. Yeah. Three attacks, three plus to hit. <laughs> One. One. Hit. Uh, strength four against toughness four, so it's a four plus to wound. It wins. And it's minus two, so a five plus save. You save it. Yeah. Nicely done. Nicely done. Check part. At the end of Sister's turn three, what do you score, Nick? What do I score? I score four VP for investigating signals in two separate corners yeah, by my uh, cheeky strong. little guys. And then I get a further four BP, which I got in my command phase, of course, for holding my home objective. That takes me up to 27 VP. However, 
I still have not managed to bring it down with the Dreadnought. The Dreadnought's still alive and you've got <laughs> several yeah. large blocks coming towards me which I am not only able to deal with, including the one at the back. So uh, yes, on to Space Marine, turn three. Start of the, the battle round, or at the end of next turn, I actually score three VP for controlling my own home objective there. So that gets scrapped. Major need. So I've drawn another one there, which is Cleanse, which you had earlier. And the secondary card is Investigate Signals. So get stuff into corners, basically. Uh, That's going to be a challenge. I'm probably not going to bother <laughs> about doing that one, but let's see what happens. Uh, this is how I've moved. Um, the bike has moved over to the, this direction to try and move block Flaming Judy. The Terminators have stomped forward after punching to death the Rhino, which we forgot to mention earlier <laughs> in... Uh, glorious combat as it was. It was so casual, it we was didn't so ca even record yeah, we, it. We just flicked it off the board, it's <laughs> unnecessary. I brought a Hell Blaster back and pushed on to, further onto that objective, so that is definitely mine. The Dreadnought staying in situ to do some uh, dirt over there. And over on this side, we've all stepped out of combat so that we can put all of our shots into Celestine. I'm going to target everything over in this corner on my home objective against Celestine, surprisingly enough. <laughs> so we're gonna go with the Lancer, and Oath of Moment-wise, I think it's gonna to have to be her as well. Funny that. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, because of reasons. Okay, so here we go, hit him with the, la the laser destroyer cannon. That one, is one, one, one hit, hit one, one miss. miss. One re-roll. Rerolling that. Oh no! Oh lord! Um, to wound, it's twos to wound, that's gone slap. What I'm gonna do, I'm just going to save it with a six. Oh, sauce because pot! It's definitely gonna. It's gonna. She's gonna survive yeah. about five minutes longer, but that's about okay. it. Okay. Put the dreadnought, the ballistas into her as well. <laughs> free, yeah. free! We killed her. We killed her, but she can come back. She may come back. Um, over here's next. So continuing the uh, the fire. The terminators put all the small fire and everything into that squad. There, they've managed to kill all the sisters and flaming Judy is down to three wounds. That's a combination of crack missiles, plasma. Uh, storm bolters, the whole uh, nine yards. It's, these guys are not running away. They know they are they dead. dead. They, are, they are brown bread. Celestine Sel Sel could stand up again on a two plus. Now oh. it's a two, so she's back in the game. Oh. Over there, uh, the dreadnought managed to mince a bunch of uh, repentia without much damage in yeah, return. Damage frankly, back. the terminators moved up and then they charged flaming Judy and with their hammers, yeah, smashed her to smithereens. Oh and then consolidated onto the objective, securing it for me. So, I, uh, in terms of secondaries, I get um, cleanse for the central objective. You do. For three victory points. Didn't get investigate signals, but who cares, because <laughs> we are gonna now count up all the stuff that happened in every battle round for Thanks. killing units. So you get four VP for killing a unit and four VP for killing more than what your enemy killed in the turn, which puts the scores on what, Nick? At this point, on just turn three, you were on 65 and I'm on 31, and I've lost most of my good units. Yeah. I've only got one or two units left, so I mean, I have no hope of coming back from so this. So at the, at the end of turn three, the scores are a little bit too um, separated for there to be any point continuing. Because we don't think, frankly, that you guys are gonna keep watching this point, because I'm amazed time... that you watch it anyway, <laughs> regardless of it. If you've made it this far, leave the comment, Flaming Judy, in the comment section. I all know that you've Flaming made it to the Judy. end. Flaming Judy, Thank you very much, Nick, for a wonderful game. Yeah. Always a pleasure, Jenna. as always. Bully, I'm bully. going to find something to try and kill your Dark Angels, because these guys are solid as egg. I'm on, a, I'm on a winner at the moment. You are. It's looking um, beautiful. But again, it's the first time you've played with sisters, isn't it? In this it is. edition. And there's lots of nuance to the Melter sucks. So you're going to have to find something else. I've probably forgotten a whole bunch of things that you guys can mention yeah. in the comments Boys, as well. pick it apart. Then. <laughs> Life Coach Randy, I know you're watching. Pick him apart. But as always, we give praise to Henry. Thank you all very much for watching. Goodbye.